One of the government's most senior scientific advisers has said that efforts to stop a sharp rise in global temperatures are now unrealistic. But Professor Sir Robert Watson, who's shortly to step down from his role in government, told BBC News that he'd like to see the Chancellor, George Osborne, back efforts to cut CO2 emissions. Here's our science correspondent, Palab Ghosh. Palab. Thank you, Simon. Well, Professor Watson is one of the most respected scientists in the world on climate change policy. He's currently chief scientist at the Department for Food and Rural Affairs and a former chair of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. He believes that because of a lack of progress at successive international climate change summits, it's now unlikely that governments will be able to meet an internationally agreed target to reduce their carbon dioxide emissions and so limit the average rise in global temperatures. The, the idea of a two degree target is largely out the window. Not impossible, but not particularly likely. I truly do believe we're on the way to a three, four or five degree world. And if we are on a world that's three, four or five degrees warmer, there will be significant adverse effects. So what does this mean? According to the UK Committee on Climate Change, there are regional variations, but overall, if there's a two degree increase in average global temperatures, there'll be more extremes of weather, such as floods and droughts, and more people will die. If temperatures rise between three and four degrees, agricultural production will fall and sea levels will rise. And at five degrees, the overall picture will get much worse, and there'll be an irreversible loss of many species. David Cameron has said that he wants his government to be the greenest ever. But because of the recession, his Chancellor, George Osborne, has argued for an easing of the UK's ambitious CO2 reduction targets to take the pressure off businesses. Professor Watson said that that would be the wrong way to go. I would say to George Osborne, work with the private sector, work with the, with the public on uh, behaviour change. Let's demonstrate to the rest of the world that through some cost-effective technology, we can make significant progress here. Professor Watson added that deep cuts in CO2 emissions are possible through the development of new ways of generating energy that don't harm the environment. But he says that what's really needed is greater political will. Simon. Palab, thank you.